So Jan, you have this uh, tree trunk that we're going to take apart today. Tell me a little bit about it, if you would. Okay. Um, my boyfriend Dan Weeks is a uh, logger, and he was working up in, I believe, Hope, New Jersey, past Hackett's Town, which is about an hour away. And he was cutting down some trees and came across this hive in the tree. And um, it was in December of uh, 2011. So he brought it home and we placed it in our woods here. Put some rubber over it because the hole he stuffed with hay to keep it safe from the winter until, you know, spring it could be to see if they were actually alive and thriving to be placed in a hive that we purchased. And um, so today, that's to take place. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. And we got the hive right over there all set up with a bee vacuum and we're Hopefully going to get it all to work. This is the bottom piece. Mm -hmm. Then there's a, um, a divider here which you have to put a screen in which you separate the frames from, from the brood. Um, and then this is the top. And you just plug the vacuum up top here. We'll put it together. And here's the, um, here's the regulator. Yeah. To control how control much how suction. Much, how much gets sucked in. And basically in between here you put the hive box with the frames in it, sucks the bees into it, mm -hmm. and I have to move them one time. You have a um, bush kill bee vac. Use that tapered floor on it. Got the frames in there. Yeah. Can you show the tapered floor on that, Alper? Sorry? On the bottom, the floor is underneath. Show me the underneath, if you uh, will. Yep. Yeah, what's the tapered yeah, floor about? Yeah, we angled about? it because uh, Robo from bush kill, uh, when you suck them into the front, this is slanted upward, so yeah. the bees will climb up and go into the frames. Oh, cool. Okay. We'll test it out today, hopefully. Yep. And then Roger can start making them. <laughs> we know we will. So that's what the inside looks like. Yeah, this is only temporary. There's supposed to be a screen like this on yeah. the bottom. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have to do one, so I had this separator. Okay. So all we're going to do is put this in between them so it, it won't suck the bees up. Into you won't do it. Yeah. on top Good. of there. Here, here's the problem. Um, the way that they showed it is they... Uh, The way that the guy did is he sucked, he sucks the bees into here. Right. And then he's got this divider that has uh, the number eight hardware, yeah. which I don't have. Right. But if you split it, the number eight hardware, and then you put another hive box on top. So you suck the bees into the bottom. Then you take the brood, rubber banded or tie them into the frames, put those in the top, all the brood and the eggs. Then you slide this screen out and the bees will come up into the brood. Problem is I didn't have time to get the Get the, uh, okay, so the now, we, what we will do here then is tie the brood in that box there in the bottom. Yep. Right? We find a queen, we'll put her in there too. Yep. Right? And what you suck in here, we just take and set right on top right away. Do that, yep. Yeah. 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 Sounds like a plan. Right? So what Roger's doing here is he has these frames prepped with little nails sticking out and he's wiring some string. And when we take the comb out of the when we take the comb out of the tree trunk, we'll lay it in here and then he'll wire the other side. And this will hold the comb until the bees fasten it in for good. So he's prepping them. Like a little cradle. Is that it? No. <laughs> Just not enough power in it. It might be it's too much power to, to pull it. Yeah. Yeah, you're not getting anything. Yeah, that thing draws too much power, I guess. Oh well, it was worth the try. Bummer. That's a bummer.
Okay, guys. Ready? This one's all honey here. You want to go in and see if we can find her? Yeah, as we cut the comb out. Yeah. And the brood comb and stuff. That's yeah. great. That's all honey down in there. That's a, this. This is all capped honey here, right? If you take this and over there. So you're thinking she could be in that piece? She's yeah. in here. She's in with the the other bees where the nest is. Find the brood here somewhere. Yeah, it's all honey. Uh, Dark honey. Uh, these are honey cells here, so. Yeah, there's a brood in here. There's the brood. When you say a brood, what does that mean? So, see this right here? Yeah. These are capped bees. Right. Bees are going to hatch from there at some point. And that's called the brood nest. So, this is honey storage, and that's brood comb. He's pulling off here. It's all pretty much honey, honey storage. Honey here's pollen. The yellow in there is pollen. I'm looking for the queen for you here. Well, Roger, you made the right cuts. I got it in my pocket. When we start tying it in, you can uh, we'll film. I see deformed wing on that one. Yeah, I noticed in my hive this morning there was five deformed uh, worker bees, deformed wings. Yeah. What does that mean? It's a virus uh, that the bees get spread by the mites. There's a Here's queen cell there. Got a queen cell on the bottom right here. Oh yeah. See it? Yeah. That's Is it hatched or? Yeah, it's empty. So see, these are all new bees that are going to hatch here. See them all? All that is new bees coming. Queen has laid an egg and the egg has been capped and at some point a bee will emerge. Yeah, just lay it in there. With this tough old comb. It is, isn't it? Yeah, here, pick another piece. It comes apart good. Here's young larva. We're trying to find the queen here. So what Roger's doing is he's cutting out the brood comb here so that we can lay it in. Here, I'll give Where's you that? There's a cord. Grab one of these. And we'll just lay it what down. What are you looking there. for? Lay it down, Roger. Where? The cord is here. No, 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 my, my son's overheating. I'm putting him in the shade.
Okay. Yeah, he's got it over here. He's cutting the comb apart with it. You got their fruit? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of brood, huh? Yeah. You just lay it on there and we'll... There's some eggs. There's some eggs. Yeah. Let's over here. If you can leave, like, there'll, there'll be times when we'll find little pieces like this that we can tie in all them holes. So I would just not tie them up until we get them really packed, because there's a lot of brood in here. Coming in front of you again, sorry. You got brood on that, I didn't see. Yes, young yeah. brood too. Yeah. I think there's okay. a couple eggs there. Larvae. You see in amongst the pollen. See it? Oops, let me not fall on my head. Like that's pollen? that's pollen, mm -hmm. right? You see some red in there too. Like that these big ones here orange. are drone brood. Mm -hmm. These large ones here are drone brood. I was looking for a drone so I could show you what one looks like. I didn't see any yet. I saw one. I saw one in there, but oh, the strings coming loose. Oh uh, yeah, it feels like it, doesn't it? Might ought to split the whole thing open. Right in half, right? Yeah. I, I think I'm wondering if uh, you do this, Roger. If you look here, you got you got right here is a hole in the top. Yeah. If you went down straight through here and through this top, you'd probably be able to just pop this whole circle off and well, get to what's in there. There's, there's hardwood here. Yeah. And there's a cavity over in this way. And they're inside it. And they're in behind there. Yeah. I'm just wondering about cutting this and cutting the back down, just laying it Laying open. it right open. Yeah. 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 The best chance of finding a queen, I do believe. It's all honey up here. Yeah. I don't know, Roger. It's like a mystery. There's so many places she could be in here. I doubt she's going to come out and get exposed to the sun, too, right? She, yeah. she probably want to be in the dark wherever she's going to be. Honey? Yeah. Okay. That's some new comb. Yeah. Nice stuff. It's all they're all clustered on that. Well, that's the coming in the hole from outside. Yeah. Yep. Now I'm going to go back and watch a video and we're going to look and go, there she is. <laughs> she went back in the hole. She was there. We missed her. I tell you, I just, uh, that, those packages I got from George, uh, from uh, Stan. Yeah. yeah, I took one of the um, combs with eggs and put it in an observation hive. And uh, they hatched their own queen. I've never seen a queen this big. Really, really long abdomen. Like, super long. She's in some nook and cranny. Somewhere. You think she's down in the hole, Roger? Since it's the most protected piece now? We're in there? Down in here? No, that's the entrance. She ain't gonna be there. Yeah, but with this thing sitting sideways, it's the only dark escape. Nah, uh, there's cavities over here yet. Yeah. I'll step back. Here's what it looks like. All split open. 
bees all over the place. Do we have all the uh, all the brood comb? We have all the brood comb. I don't know. There's some comb over here yet. That uh, okay. I haven't. I'm gonna take very well. I'll take some of that. I'll actually put in.